Okay, so today's test ride is going to be my new Trek. Well, it's not actually a new bike, but it's a newly converted Trek bike to my friction drive system. This one is running a VESC as speed controller rather than e-bike controller. And I've just changed over to a uh, SK3 motor, an SK3 5065. So that's actually a long can motor. And uh, I've got some pretty good results with this particular motor. So uh, let's take it for a test ride. Try and do a similar riding um, course to what I did with the last drive. Get a bit of an idea, a bit of a comparison of how it sounds in comparison to uh, the last setup with the with my Venge uh, road bike and the uh, KU65 speed controller. Speed that I'd start the, the drive at. So hitting the drive on now. You can hear that it picks up okay. Back on. I can barely hear it, so I don't know how it's going to come up on the camera. Drive's activated. going to attempt one of the steeper hills around my area, about 10% I think, 10 or 11, let's go. A little labour. So there's some 13%, I'm hardly working, well. And there's a light, okay. So, still a few things to sort out with the vest. As far as the noise is concerned, um, absolutely amazing. Clock mode, um, being able to set any type of battery you like up to 12S, and back up to 13S. Um, Having it so that it can be used with all sorts of interfaces, whether it's a, a, um, a PWM input or a uh, ADC input, which gives you a 0 to 3.3 volt input or a 1 to 3.3 volt input. Very, very versatile. Or 
also the option for remote control throttles, um, something that I'll investigate a little bit further. That certainly makes a lot of sense too to have to, to make a wireless control for it also. That'll be the next thing. Rise back in again. So quiet and smooth. I'm not pedaling now. Let the drive do its thing. All in all, I think a very successful test. Thank you very much.